but in Nigeria, we kind of uh, policy making is kind of on the hoof. And for everybody, our problem in Nigeria is if we can get enough soldiers, we'll shoot our way out of this problem with Boko Haram and all of the people who are committing all these atrocities. Um, but we can't. And when you look at the underlying data, okay, it's not the number of people killed, but look at the places where people are killed and the states which have the biggest problems of killing. Now, you will notice the two most popular states in Nigeria are Lagos and Kano. Yes? Lagos is the smallest state by territory in all of Nigeria. It's about 3,777 square kilometers, give or take. Kano State is the second smallest state in northern Nigeria, second only to Gombe State. Gombe is about 18,197 or thereabouts square kilometers. Kano is about just a little over 20,000 square kilometers. Yes? Now, it also happens that Gombe State and Kano State are the two states in northern Nigeria with the least problem of mass violence. It's not an accident. Now, where are the states in Nigeria with the biggest problems of mass violence? You ask yourself. Borno State. Borno is about 17,800 square kilometers. Yes? And it's, also, it's therefore the second largest state in Nigeria. Number two, now, in terms of incidents, if not numbers of killing, Niger State. Niger State is about 76,300 square kilometers. It is the biggest state in Nigeria, Barno. Number three, Kaduna State. Kaduna State is the fourth largest state in Nigeria. The third is Taraba State. Kaduna is about 46,100 square kilometers, just about 46,100 under that square kilometers. The, fourth, the third largest state in Nigeria is Taraba State. In terms of violence, it's about the fourth. And you can go on and on. Yobe State is number six. Zamfara State is number seven. Adamawa State is number eight in terms of landmass. Number five is Bochi State. Now, what is common to all of these states? Vast tracts of land. Now, take Niger State, which is now increasingly a zone of killings. At 76,300 square kilometers and 25 local government areas, Niger is ungovernable. Now, try and understand this. Imo State, as I was trying to explain yesterday, is just about 5,000 square kilometers. Five. One, two, three, four. Five thousand square kilometers. And Imo State has 27 local government areas. Niger State has 25 local government areas and is 15, over 15 times the size of Imo State. Basically, the average size of a local government area in Niger State is close to the size of Imo State. Okay? Now, what does that mean? You have so much territory, you can't deploy protection assets effectively. So, you have Lagos State is, uh, Niger State is over 20 times the size of Lagos State. Lagos State has over five times the number of police assets than Niger State. State. So when you have a crisis, you can't deploy assets of protection effectively. And any assets you want to deploy are invariably overwhelmed by territory and landmass. They can't effectively cover anywhere. They are, they are outnumbered. That is the crisis we have in the north, wherever you have Zamfara State has nine local government areas with a territory of um, about 39,000 square kilometers. Nearly twice the size of Kano. Yes, nearly twice the size of Kano. It has just nine local government areas. What are you going to do with that? How are you going to deploy protection assets? You can't. Borno State, with nearly 71,000 square kilometers, 
has the same number of local government areas as Imo State, 27. Now, the, so there are, there is, as I said, Kano and Gombe states are the two states that kind of bought the trend in the north. But that is because they are relatively small relative to the others. Uh, and when you compare the size, Jere local government area in Bochi state, which is also a site of some difficulty, is the site of the greatest difficulty in Bochi, is about 6,800 square kilometers, which is about the size of Enugu state. Enugu state is the biggest state in the southeast of Nigeria. It's one local government area. Jere is the biggest local government area in Nigeria. Now, this is where the crisis is. It's not about guns and no guns and shoot and no shoot. We don't have enough assets to control the territory that we are dealing with, or the territories that we are dealing with. You're not going to have banditry in Lagos State. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look in the south, you will discover that the state with the greatest violence is River State. And River State is the one state that comes close to replicating not the size or scale of landmass problems in the north, but the scale of ungovernability of territory because of its ungoverned waterways, ungoverned creeks. And you find that again in Bayelsa State. That is the problem. So there is a, a commonality of patterns, patterns of ungoverned territories. That means, I mean, for me it's very clear, if you can extend the reach of government and of the state, the further you can extend it, the more likely you are to be able to control this violence. But we cannot do that thinking the only way we can do it is by shooting. We've got to make government more effective. We've got to make sure people steal less. We've got to spend less on overheads so that government can begin to acquire legitimacy. Which is why you go to Borno State now, you go to some places like Dikwa, uh, and what you're seeing is Boko Haram levying taxes and providing services. Those are places where government should be playing those rules. But now, people have made their peace with outlaws, and those outlaws are pro providing them with protection. That. So, for me, it's very clear. The insecurity issue is a canary of a deeper problem, which is malgovernance. Unless we are able to, drag, to address this at the level of governmental systems, we will have this problem, and it is going to deepen.